Leverkusen. warm-up comedian terrified you this evening. <laughs> you better, you better sound like you like him or I'm out of a job. <laughs> and he's right. <laughs> but before I come out, I hear him saying to the audience, give me thunder. <laughs> There's 110 people here who are disappointed because they didn't get into the prices right. Give anyone thunder? <laughs> or do they? <laughs> hey, when I was throwing candy into the audience, a, a, a piece of candy fell on the floor, which means legally it's mine. <laughs> I was going to put it in my pants, but I think it might melt. <laughs> Greg, are you saying that chocolate melts in your pants? Yes, because of my hot penis. <laughs> Going to be a classy one tonight, everybody. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes. 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 Friday, of course. Oh, thank God it's Friday. I, I, it's been a great week for uh, the New York City cab drivers this week. The drivers finally got to see the taxi of the future, the new model cab. The reaction was quite mixed. Some of the, the drivers in New York are like, hey. <laughs> and some of them are like, oh, yes, I like it very much. <laughs> The New York taxis, the new ones, are actually pretty cool. They're big, they've got a lot of loot room in the trunk, and they can handle thousands of people riding them. They're like Kardashians. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we should probably lay off the Kardashians, or they could go away. <laughs> Next week, of course, is the 100th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic. It was a terrible tragedy, so what better way to mark the somber anniversary than with a big Hollywood 3D movie opening today? Yeah! That's right, Titanic, back in the theatres, this time in 3D, so it'll be like, Oh, the ship's sinking! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, I'm king of the world! <laughs> it's pretty amazing, though, that they've got those computer programs that can transform older movies into 3D. They take something, you know, flat and two-dimensional and make it seem, it seem real. They should do it with Mitt Romney. It's an amazing thing. <laughs> now, this is true. Wait. <laughs> this is true. There's a movie theater in South Korea is showing the new Titanic movie in something they call 4DX. But what they do is they turn it into a kind of theme park ride. Like, it's in 3D, and then they shake the seats, and they turn on the fans, and they say that you'll be able to feel and smell the movie. I'm like, because when I watched that Titanic movie, I was always thinking, I wonder what that old lady smells like, you know? <laughs> you, know when, you know when they had that hundred-year-old lady in a submarine with no ventilation? I was like, ah, I wonder what that smells like. They got it right, vitamins and wee-wee. They, uh... <laughs> it's a joke. Relax. Relax, hundred-year-old angry people. Is anyone angry at 100? I, I think by the time you get to 100, you're like, a... I don't know. I'd like to think that if I reach 100, I'd still be, you know, a little pissed. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to see it in 4D. I'm going to see Titanic in 3D. That'll be, that'll be good enough for me. It'll be great. Everything will fly into your face, the ship, the iceberg, the boobies. <laughs> I don't remember much about the movie, only the boobies. 
<laughs> Who's that actress again? She's lovely, gorgeous, blonde, uh, hair, sexy lips. Did you have a picture of her? There, there she is, yeah. <laughs> That uh, is, of course, Leonardo DiCaprio who's in the movie. That was 15 years ago, and he's aged a little bit since then. He still looks great, though. Do we have a, a recent picture of Leo? There you are. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Kate Winslet, of course, is the actress. I was talking that she's the one with the boobies in the movie. I don't know why the movie studio isn't advertising the fact you'll be able to see our, our boobies in 3D. They should put that on the poster. <laughs> They'd be like, remember our boobies? Well, they're in 3D! <laughs> I, I mean, they could do it subtly. They could just underline the first three letters in Titanic. <laughs> what? What? You know, when the Titanic movie came out in 1997, it made a ton of money. The official count was like 15 gazillion dollars. But let... <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was a lot of money, though. I... And let's not forget that the, the biggest competition, though, against the movie at that time was the Spice Girls movie. <laughs> which I saw about 400 times. They should have that in 3D. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> tell me what you want. I'll tell you what I want. I want those Union Jack boots. Remember that Baby Spice? She was lovely. She's also, that's uh, 15 years ago as well. You got a recent picture of Baby Spice? Yeah, there she is. Yeah. <laughs> what was that guy? Oh yeah, the Titanic. Uh, I was actually asked to, to, to be in Titanic. No, not the movie, the actual ship. <laughs> the story of Titanic is real. <laughs> It's, it's quite sad, though. I mean, it's a terribly sad story. As the ship is sinking, the orchestra played so the you know it would calm the passengers. But it makes me think we should have a, a band here, so you know, to calm people while this ship sinks. And, you know, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. may I say, it's been an honour playing with you. Yeah. <laughs> the whole idea of re-releasing the old movies does bother me a bit. Though, if they're going to re-release re an old movie, that I should be able to get in with my my old ticket. <laughs> I actually think Jay Leno did that uh, joke, didn't he? He did. I'm sure he did. He must have. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kevin, you know who hates Titanic? Rick Santorum. Because, yeah, yeah, he does, because it has sailors going down. LAUGHTER <laughs> You like that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. It was a, that was a good one, Jay. Are you doing Kevin? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Right, you do Kevin, yeah. but wait, Kevin's not on the show anymore. <laughs> For the purposes of this joke, it don't matter. All right, okay, yeah, you, you do Kevin and I'll do Jay. Hey, hey, Kevin, uh, how you, how, what have you been up to? Oh, not too much. How you doing, man? Well, I, I've been, I, oh, that's cold. Say that. Yeah, that's cold, man, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> This is awesome! Yeah. I, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> See, if you would do that, you'd be more like a better sidekick. How dare you? How dare you, sir? I take umbrage at your thoughts. <laughs> umbrage, you say? Yes, you heard me, umbrage. Umbrage is actually one of the more picturesque villages in Cheshire. <laughs> I believe, I believe you studied at Umbridge. I did. I went to Umbridge for many years. I studied monkeys. <laughs> oh, you, you studied simians, you say? Yes, as I did. I studied monkeys. And they're lovely, the hairy little rascals running around with bananas and such. <laughs> I particularly enjoy the babbins. <laughs> and also monkeys. <laughs> 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 Thing. Oh, okay, yeah. tonight's presentation of The Late Late Show is brought to you in 3D. Now you can experience shame and total disappointment in three dimensions. <laughs> <laughs>